So I'm teaching a year five liability set and there's five people premium children and two EAL and we're going to be doing uh, lines of symmetry. So I'm expecting my lower ability of the set to be able to recognise lines of symmetry on regular shapes and then my um, middle ability to be looking at irregular shapes and then my higher ability to be looking at trickier irregular shapes moving on to test questions and um, reflective symmetry. So we'll be looking at, um, as I said, shapes using mirrors um, to draw on lines of symmetry. Um, we're going to be practically folding shapes to see their lines um, to help the kind of structure the lesson for the lower ability. Um, and the test questions are going to be based around the learning that they're doing. So I've used my TA um, to push my middle abilities and then to push my hires. I'm going to be supporting my lower abilities, but I'll be circulating around the room. In terms of strategies, I'm going to be doing modelling on my interactive whiteboard, um, using a smart notebook, and the resources I'm going to have, yeah, mirrors, rulers. Um, so yeah, the activity I'll be doing with the lowers will be scaffolded by me. It'll be group work to begin with, and then hopefully moving them towards independent activity. So, we have got our line of symmetry. Can we easily spot any other lines of symmetry? I found this a little bit tricky when I was doing this earlier. Couldn't really find another one. But let me do something really exciting. I've rotated my triangle now. Okay, I've rotated my triangle. I wonder if we could do another line of symmetry. Could we do another one down the middle? So you rotate your triangle, see if you can do another fold down the middle this time. This was a little bit more tricky, wasn't it, than the square to find our lines of symmetry, but that's why you need, really need to be rotating, okay? And some of you, when you get onto your activity, Lily Rose, will certainly need to be rotating to find your lines of symmetry, okay? Super. So we had one going from each corner, didn't we? Me and Jasmine noticed. So we had one going from here into the middle of our shape. But we know that our line goes this way, doesn't it? And then we've got three lines of symmetry, okay? Right, lastly, before our activity, we're going to look at a really irregular shape now. Okay, right, this shape. Looking at this, do we think this has any lines of symmetry? What do you think? I've got some shaking of heads. Okay, I'm going to rotate the shape again, and we're going to see if we think differently, okay? I'm just going to rotate my shape slightly. Let me know what you notice. What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. ah. I've rotated it really slightly. Oh, yeah, we can. Could I do a line of symmetry all the way down the middle now? Mm -hmm. yeah. I could, couldn't I? If I did a line of symmetry all the way down here, both sides would be identical, which means they are symmetrical. That's a line of symmetry. Okay, some of you are going to be looking at these irregular shapes today. All right. Okay, super. Year five, I'm really, really impressed. What I just want you to do now, really quickly before we start the activity, you've got some of your, some of your AFL fans in front of you. Just want you to show me how confident you're feeling just before we start the independent activity. I wouldn't be surprised if some of us are feeling yellow. Yeah, that would be absolutely fine because by the end of the lesson, you're all going to be green because we'll have done lots of practice on this. Those people that are already green, you're definitely going to be challenging yourself today. Okay? Super. Okay, fans down. Let me explain your activity then. Okay, there's going to be lots of activities going on around the room. Middle table, you're going to be working with me to start with. We're going to be looking at more of these regular shapes moving on to a regular. Group over here with Miss Charlotte, you're going to be working on some irregular shapes. You're going to be folding them to see your lines of symmetry and sticking in your book. Group over here, you're going to be working on some even trickier irregular shapes. But I don't want you to be folding yours. I want you to be tilting and drawing on your lines of symmetry. Okay? Thank you, just listening to this bit just for a moment. Good boy. Okay, two top tips before we start. Top tip number one. Some of your shapes might not have any lines of symmetry. I didn't show you any shape that didn't, but some of yours, Hayden, might do. Top tip number two. Always use a ruler to draw on your lines of symmetry. If I was going to get you to draw these on, I would have got you to get a ruler and use a pencil to draw them on. Okay? We must use a ruler because you'd never see any curved lines of symmetry. They're always straight. I've got my challenges at the front. If you, as always, if you think that your sheet is too easy, you can work to the next level up. If you think you're finding it too tricky and you want to move down to build your confidence, that's absolutely fine as well, as we normally would. Okay?
So what I always think is useful to get our ruler, put it on its end, like this, and just to really move it along until we're happy with it being in the middle. Yeah? Once we're happy, then we can draw a line. So Jasmine, I want you to do that for me. So we can go... Super, well done, Hayden, yeah. OK, well, we haven't done all our lines of symmetry on the first two yet, have we? Let's do those first. Super, Cindy, see if you can do the triangle. Well done, Rosalina. Excellent. Super, so you can do a horizontal line on a square as well, can't you? Really accurate, Rosalina. Well done, good girl. Good, Andrew. 